Hello friends, welcome back to VSAP Technology. Now let me tell you about the conditional state. So in any language, you must know two things, which is uh, conditional statements and another one is looping statements. In any language, you may have to check the condition or you may have to repeat some lines of code for some more particular times. So let me declare a variable, for example, standalone variable h which is a drone type of two strings and I'm checking if h is greater than or equals to 18 whenever you open you start writing if block you must close it okay in this I'm going to display you are eligible for forward If that condition is failed, then we will know you are not eligible for vote. So before check this condition, you need to initialize this age, right? So I'm giving age as uh, 19. So compile this one, file. Call it, you get the answer. You are eligible for what? Okay. Okay, let me check the else condition. If I give the age as 15, then we'll see what will be the answer. Compile it, call it, you are not eligible for what? Yes. So instead of coming inside the program and changing the value, you can give the value at runtime itself. So for that, uh, we have a command which is ESPLY enter your page. And you have to open a single code and close it. And here you have to give the variable name. This line will display this message to the user and if user gives some response that will be stored in this age variable after this it will check the condition if that given age is greater than or equals to 18 then the compiler will come inside the if block and it will execute this display function otherwise it will come to else block so let me compile this one File it and compile it. All this program I'm giving 50. You are not eligible for what? I'm calling again. I'm giving 25. You are eligible for what? Okay, this is how you have to write a program. So you may get a doubt. What if there are more conditions? For that, we have a another else if block, which is else if you have to give a condition over here age is greater than or equal to 18 so this is how you have to write multiple conditions like this you can write uh, any number of conditions i need to tell you about one thing here here this double slash describes that this line is comment which means the compiler won't consider this as a actual code the compiler directly comes to here and it will start execution from here after this line now let me explain about this else block condition first this display function will display this message to the user and the user enters some edge that will be stored in edge for example, consider that uh, the user response is 18. 18 is stored in age variable. Okay, first it will come to the if condition. If a condition, can age is 18, right? So 18 is less than 12. Condition is true. All right. It will come. In, it won't come inside the if block. It will come to else block. So 18 
is greater than or equals to for me and 18 is less than or equals to 26 both conditions are true right then and operation will give you true here you need to know about the end operation and operation will give you true if both the conditions are true if any one of the condition is false then it will return false for example if this condition is also false then it will go to the next else block if all the conditions fails then it will go to the else block and it will display the message whatever it may have that is the working principle of a if else block if any one condition is true then it won't check the other conditions it will directly end the if block file this one compile this call this I'm doing 12 engage call it again and giving 11 minor age so like this you have to write a program and now let me tell you about uh, something very interesting which is a select wave condition so let me remove all these things okay the syntax just goes like this We have a other things which is similar to else statement. Okay, this is how the syntax goes. Now it is completed. Now I'll tell you how this select one class will execute. First, this display function will execute. It will display this message to the user, and the user will enter some value that will be stored in age. For example, let us take the age as 60. It will come inside the select statement. First, it checks the condition when age is less than 12, age is 60, right? So, 60 is less than 12, condition is false. So, it will, it won't enter into the when block, it will come to the next when, next when condition. Again, it checks the condition, it is greater than or equal to 12, condition is true, and 60 is less than or equal to 26, condition is false. I have already told you that and operator will give you true if both conditions true otherwise it will give you false right so this condition is true but the other condition which is uh, this this is this condition is false right so it won't in enter into the when block it will come to the next when condition it will check again the age 60 greater than 26 condition is true and age 60 is less than or equal to 58 again this condition gets failed again one condition will be true this condition is true and this condition false right so it will give you the false it will come to the other if all the condition fails then automatically the default which means the other block will get executed so it will display the senior citizen message. This is how the select when condition will get executed. Here we will, we will see the output. File this one, compile this, all this. I am giving the edge as 54. Middle age, compile, I am calling this again. Giving the age is 68. Senior citizen, yes, the code is working properly. Here that that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.